Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 3. Last time we finished our business in the Black Main system, and we are now in the aerial system in Kilrathi territory. So we are about to go on the offensive and take the fight to the enemy. Hey, there's Vagabond. We didn't talk to him last time. Come on, try your luck, sir. Uh, don't I get to cut the deck at least? You'd be surprised how many rookies just sante up and uh, look shocked when they lose their first pot. Well, they get what they deserve, then. I hear we're going after a garrison. I haven't been briefed. It may not seem like it. My wheels are always turning. I fly better when I know what the real objectives are. HQ's got a bad habit of labeling every target a military installation. One day ain't. I like to be real sure. He's worried about nothing. We're just pilots. He's worried about nothing. Yeah, don't worry nothing. about it. HQ knows what they're doing. Hopefully. Hey, we're the good guys, remember? We don't go after innocence. It's the difference between us and them. Well, it's like the cards, see? A lot of people, they never ask questions about what's dealt. Well, if, if done properly, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Plus, you know, the old song goes, every hand's a winner and every hand's a loser. So, you know, even if what you get may not appear to be good, it could still want to be in the winning hand. And as a blackjack, well, actually as a poker dealer, period, um, you know, I know that that is true. I've seen many people who have turned trash into treasure viewers. So just uh, just keep in mind, keep that in mind, you know, just, just be aware of what's going on here. So, okay, let me uh, check my status real quick and be right back. Okay, well, well, we are now ready to begin our offensive missions here. Colonel, part of the reason we're in Karathi space is because of your flight. You've done the victory proud. Now, as you may have heard on the grapevine, we're here to destroy this system's military garrison. We're going to have to fight through several waypoints. The enemy is spread out with patrols everywhere. Any ship that can escape to the jump point will be able to alert the rest of the Karathi to our presence here. And that would mean we'd have to scrap this entire offensive. You need to nail every last one of them, Colonel. Consider them nailed, sir. Haha. -ha. So these are the And Cobra is determined for violence and vengeance here in this section, so we're gonna pick her. Cobra. Okay. Now a couple things I'll say about that before we get started. First off is that line, God, I love that boy spunk. When you're doing uh, your test runs and setting up the game in the DOS version, um, one way they check the level of your of of the speech and uh, stuff like that is they use that line. God, I love that boy spunk. So, that's where that line comes from. Um, also, for those of you that are unfamiliar with a military garrison, that's like, um, that would be the equivalent of like a fort or a base. A military fort or base, like a Fort Sumner or Fort Hood or, you know, something like that. So, that's what we're here to destroy. Ho, ho, ho! And now we get access to the Longbow Bomber. Now, on the front, this may look like a badass ship. And really, it's, it has its uses, for sure. The problem is, it is so slow and so hard to handle. So we're only going to use it in a, in a couple of select missions. But it's definitely going to be useful for this one. Now, a couple of the different kind of missile types. We have the friend or foe missile, which is kind of like the image recognition missile, except it goes much faster, but the damage isn't as high. So, but they're good for dealing, out with, the, dealing with Straka fighters. So we're going to take a few of those, and we're going to take some image rec missiles as well. You'll also notice that we have four torpedoes, which means that we can take out some capital ships in one shot. So, that's pretty cool. All right, let's give this baby a run. Okay. F1, C, F. Okay. Hang on, I need to make one adjustment to my settings on my computer viewers. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, 
Now, auto to the first zone. Now, first thing you want to do is you're going to lock onto your torpedo. Now, watch this. It takes a little bit of time for the torpedo to lock onto its target, but that's a capital ship Corvette. Now, it locks on, we fire, and watch this. Wait for it. Boom! And just like that, we have taken out the... We've taken out the Corvette. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now we have some Straka fighters here. Yeah, but look at how slowly this thing moves. I mean, I'm, I can barely move it, and it's so sluggish. And... But watch this. Well, I'll show you here in a minute. Now, you see that we're getting shot at from behind. So if we push the F4 button... Actually, well, I'll show you here in a minute. There'll be plenty of time to show it. Just a minute. Okay, so if I push F4, we switch to my rear view. And this, the longbow is actually built in with a rear cannon that can absolutely rip these Strakas to shred. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. We can also use our friend or foe missiles. They work pretty well. Oh, there it is. Okay, come on. Uh, the other thing you'll notice about the longbow is that it has a lot of good shields, so we can take several hits, and we'll still be okay. There we go. Got it. Now, normally, you can, um, whenever you're left with just capital ships, oh, I hate flying this stupid thing. Like, I'm pushing the left button right now, and I can barely move. Um, now, normally, when you're flying regular missions, uh, you can auto out of a zone, and uh, when there's just cap ships left, but... Remember what Captain Eisen said, we have to destroy every single Kilrathi ship that we encounter. So, if we auto right now, uh, we'll be unable to complete our mission objectives. So, now we're not going to waste our torpedoes on these transports, because they have very thin shields, and uh, we can just take them out normally. So, we're after burning all the way over. The longbow, you're going to use a lot of fuel. Oops. Ah, sorry, wrong button. Okay, yeah. Stop. Now, if you take these transports, you're going to get about 1,100 clicks. Push the Y button to match speed. And just hold down your your uh, gun until the transport goes bye-bye. Just like that. Boom. And Cobra got the other one. Excellent. Good job.